Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with a 2008 Vauxhall Astra 1.4 with 250,000 miles on the clock and in need of a serious engine bay detail. It's been a while since the last time the engine bay was properly gone over, so in today's video we are going to sort it out. Step 1, cover all of those electrical ports or plugs and sockets to ensure a safe engine bay detail. If any water gets into those electrical components, particularly with a high mileage and slightly older vehicle, could prove disastrous. However, by covering them up is going to prevent any potential damage. I simply use a bin bag or bin liner and rip pieces off that are going to be a perfect fit for each individual plug. If you're not able to tie those pieces on, then simply use some 3M green masking tape to secure them on tightly. Prevention is better than cure, so make sure you mask all electrical plugs and sockets carefully and make sure you don't miss any. The brushes that I use for engine bay details include a Swiss Fax wheel brush, Easy Detail Go Go brush, a Martin Cox narrow wheel brush, a Meguiar spot brushing pad, nice and firm bristles, a lambskin wash mitt, and a Tough Shine tire brush. I've applied a bit of extra shampoo to the wheel bucket to help with cleaning those brushes out and to provide some extra suds, which is a shampoo called Valet Pro Prep Shampoo. Always start from the top down, so in this case, I'll pre rinse the underside of the bonnet first followed with giving the engine bay itself a first proper rinse off. When rinsing the engine bay, never allow the stream of water to be forced into any of the areas and always keep the jet stream at a respectable distance from the bay. Problems will occur when you start forcing the high stream of water into some of those mechanical components, rubbers and seals, so quite simply, keep your pressure washer at a distance. I've made a special concoction filled with a strong dilution of all-purpose cleaner, bug and grime remover and a citrus pre-wash with a little water mixed in there too. This is going to provide a strong cleaning solution for the filthy Vauxhall Astra engine bay. Apply the product to all areas of the underside of the bonnet first and don't be afraid to give them a proper thorough soaking. Next step, take your engine bay cleaning implements and get all of those areas underside the bonnet extremely clean. Be thorough, work at it, and let those products and brushes and mitts scrub away all of that grime. top bit on first because obviously all the muck is just yeah. going to drip down onto the engine bay and before this all dries back on again give it a good rinse off what do you do if you've got um, like a job booked for a certain day but then it's that uh, when the underside is complete give it a thorough jet wash Next up is the bay itself, so take your strong dilution of cleaning product and apply it straight to the bay. Again, don't be afraid to ensure that the bay has a thorough covering of product so that it can begin soaking into all of those hard to reach areas. When the bay has been thoroughly dosed, get stuck in there with all of your cleaning implements. We begin with those normal locking wheel brushes first, get into all of the top facing surfaces and rubbers, grommets, pipes, tubing, covers and sills, etc. Followed with utilising each of those other brushes and mitts to get into all of the other accessible areas. Not not a load. I've done a few though. Oh yeah, that, no. <laughs> that's what that other um, 
that Maguire's proper bristle brush thing is going to do. Yeah. You want some of the little one, yeah. yeah. Oh, If you notice any grease, oil or built up grime particularly around the oil cap like we did on this Vauxhall Astra, then something like the Maguire spot cleaning brush is going to clean those areas nicely. The hinges on the underside of the bonnet are prone to becoming caked up with decade old grease, oil and grime. So that's where the little Maguire's brush works wonders. When the entire engine bay has been scrubbed down with as much thoroughness and obsession that you can handle, the bay is completely rinsed down. When the wet work is complete, go ahead and remove all of those electrical plug socket covers. Next up to dry the bay, I prefer to use a Metrovac 4 horsepower master blaster to remove all of the trapped and standing water from the bay, but you can simply just use microfiber towels. The Master Blaster is good and I would recommend one, but it just depends whether or not you want to spend 200 Great British Pounds on one. Now that the engine bay is clean and dry, it's time to check out some quick before and afters before applying our finishing products. Maguire's hyper dressing is what I use for dressing engine bays and I dilute it 4 to 1 to achieve a nice satin finish. Apply the plastic dressing of your choice to the entire engine bay and I mean why not soak all of those rubber and plastic pipes, tubes and seals too, just to give them some extra protection against the elements and to make them look new again. 
One thing when doing this stage is to keep that finishing product away from the cam belt because if a greasy or oily type dressing settles on it, it can cause it to squeak. Simply put a microfiber towel over the top of the cam belt to ensure that no product lands on it. Give the plastic dressing 10 minutes to work its magic on those plastic and rubber surfaces whilst attending to the other finishing stages of the engine bay detail. Those 10 minutes are going to allow the product to make a decent bond to the plastic surfaces and in result, they will achieve a better finish. The underside of the bonnet is given a wipe down using a detail spray to add some gloss, slickness and shine to finish it off nicely. <laughs> the worst thing is, finishing a car off after those 10 minutes have passed, take your microfiber towel and wipe the engine bay down to give it that professional finish that'll last. Quite a transformation for this engine bay as it was in need of a good detail and the before and afters really do speak for themselves. Swiss Fox Canoe is the best tire dressing that I've ever Inside the bonnet because there's no electric side. Yeah, yeah. When you're doing the bottom, just want After finishing the engine bay detail, start the vehicle up and allow it to run for 5 minutes just to burn off any products or water that we weren't able to remove, and of course to make sure that the engine still starts. Modern automotive engines are designed to withstand a certain amount of the beating from the rain, so more than likely, the car will be fine. I forgot to mention the products that we used in today's video, and these are my special concoction of APC, bug and grime remover and citrus pre-wash, which was in the region of a 1 to 1 dilution. Meguiar's last touch detail spray diluted 3 to 1, Meguiar's hyper dressing diluted 3 to 1, and Valet Pro concentrated prep shampoo. Other bits of kit included a Nilfisk E140 pressure washer with the auto nozzle attachment, those brushes that we saw at the start of the video, a 4 horsepower metro back master blaster and a handful of microfiber towels. Engine bays are simple to detail, it just requires a decent bit of kit, the right products and brushes and a little help or guidance from myself in today's video of course. Then you too can detail a 250k engine bay to make it look like a 25k engine bay within the matter of one hour. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on so you don't miss lots of exciting up and coming content. Grab yourself an air freshener or some 300 GSM microfiber towels from the JP Details online store and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Just search JP Details. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.